In Japan, preparations are underway for a major disaster as Typhoon Shanshan makes landfall. Meanwhile, in Gujarat, it's a race against time to rescue people from the devastation caused by massive floods. The situation is so severe that crocodiles are being spotted in the flooded residential streets. Here's a detailed report. Travelers and foreign tourists in Japan's Fukuoka are on edge. Typhoon Shanshan has unleashed its fury on southwest Japan. With the storm bringing strong winds and torrential rain, authorities have warned that this could be one of the strongest storms to hit the region in recent history. This typhoon is scary. In terms of disaster, we are getting a huge amount of rain, so I don't know what will happen going forward. I really hope everyone will stay safe. As a result, there are reports of widespread power outages and disrupted air traffic. Major factories have also been closed. So far, at least three people have died and numerous others have been injured. The typhoon has changed its course frequently and stayed in the area for a long time. So the amount of rain has increased dramatically. That's what I'm concerned about. Heavy rains and gusts reportedly reached around 50 meters per second, causing cancellations of high-speed trains to Tokyo. I mean, I'm concerned because I obviously do not want to miss our flights back to New York on September 2nd. So we have the 31st and the 1st to be able to get out of Fukuoka to be able to make our flight back um, to New York on September 2nd. Um, so if the power failures really continue to go on for the next couple of days, then we might, we're going to be... The storm is expected to hover over Kyushu for the next few days before approaching central and eastern regions, including Tokyo. Typhoon Shanshan follows Typhoon Ample, which also caused blackouts and evacuations earlier this month. In India, massive flooding in the state of Gujarat has resulted in the deaths of at least 28 people this week. Over 24,000 have been displaced due to massive flooding triggered by heavy rains. As a result, six columns of the Indian Army along with national disaster response teams are conducting rescue operations in the worst affected areas. Several rivers and reservoirs have overflowed with water levels surpassing danger marks. The state remains on high alert as forecasts predict continued heavy rains. Gujarat frequently experiences severe floods during the monsoon season, with the 2017 floods claiming more than 200 lives. A government report highlights that many parts of Gujarat are especially vulnerable due to major rivers flowing through flat terrain before reaching the sea. Videos from the region showed flooded streets and overflowing rivers. In Vadodara, residents had to be rescued by helicopter. Other videos showed a crocodile sitting atop the roof of a house. Transport services have been heavily disrupted, with 48 trains cancelled on Wednesday. Villages and towns in the Saurashtra region have been among the worst affected, receiving non-stop rain for nearly 48 hours. Weather officials anticipate that the heavy rains will start to taper off by September 1st as the deep depression in the Arabian Sea shifts towards Pakistan. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.